What's up guys, John here back with another Steel Video Geek Out and this is going to be kind of an interesting video because if there's one nice deal that's just been kind of synonymous with just being garbage, it's going to be this deal right here, 440. And so 440 is a series of stainless steels that has been just given, it's just been given a hard lot in life. Just a lot of lower end manufacturers and people making knives to the lowest bidder. You know, it's kind of synonymous with the whole surgical stainless. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and click on this one right here. I'll pull up the legend here. Let's get rid of the 8CR for now. So right now we're just talking about the 440, 440A. And we can see the composition here. And when you look at the actual composition of it, you're like, huh, this still isn't so bad. Okay, we've got a decent amount of carbon in here. We got more than the 420 HC high carbon. Okay, we've got a lot of the chromium inside there. We can do a lot with that. Good stain resistance as well as a formation of some chromium carbide. Uh, we've got a little bit of molybdenum in there. Uh, yeah, it looks like we got enough for some carbide formation. And then we also have some manganese and silicon, which kind of helps with the overall manufacturing process of the steel when it's in molten form and cast in the molds, as well as it, it kind of helps with that grain structure and grain refinement. Um, again, it really depends on the heat treatment for all of these ingredients, how each maybe attribute could be intensified. And really, that's kind of what we're talking about. Is 440 really that bad of a steel? Well, it's not. This just goes to show that it's all about the heat treatment of the steel. And since the majority of people that are actually using this steel are putting horrible heat treatments on it, <laughs> then everybody just gets the impression they associate just a horrible blade steel with 440A. In fact, so much so that they don't realize that there's an entire 440 series of steels. And so we have 440B and we have 440C. And let's go ahead and we'll check those out as well. Let's get a good lineup here. So let's pull out the 440B. There we go. And you can see everything looks the same, huh? We have the same amount of ingredients, but we have a little bit more carbon. And that's about it. That's all you're really getting with the 440B is you're getting more carbon. So more ability to get harder. You know, you get a higher hardness. You also can get... Uh, possibly more carbide formation out of it and lastly let's go to the premium steel and this was the premium steel back in the 90s maybe late 80s and that's going to be 440c and in every right is still a top performing steel but like we talked about just gets a bad reputation because of all the the poor heat treating of it and with 440c 440c is interesting because we have a higher amount of carbon than 1095 carbon steel not many people really think about that. You have more carbon in 440C than 1095. You see the range right there. I think 1095 tops out at 1.05% on the carbon. This tops out and has a range, of course, at 1.20. So just think about that for a bit. We've got more carbon in this stainless 440C than that. Uh, and with the 440C, it's definitely a little bit more difficult to heat treat as well, since we do have all that carbon, and you got to know what you're doing with it. you got to know if you're putting it into the carbides or this and that with the heat treat. So really, when it comes down to it, it's all about the heat treatment. You can't always judge a blade just by its steel. And I feel like maybe sometimes a lot of this is lost in translation with me geeking out sometimes on all these steels. And that it's, it's not always just about the steel. The steel is a component in what makes a high-quality knife. It's the ingredients. And it's what the person who makes the knife does with those ingredients and the shape and, and things like that that he puts it into for the use of the knife and so on and so forth that makes just the kick-ass blade. Uh, the blade that's just going to cut great. It's just going to sharpen great. All that stuff. And unfortunately, there's not a name to associate that with. The only name that you can associate the awesome heat treat and geometry and things like that is the name of the steel. And so I feel like as a community, uh, a lot of the time, we get a little lost in the steel when we need to be focused more on who's making the knife, what heat treatment he's doing, and the shape of the blade itself. And then the steel. And if the steel has attributes that he is taking advantage of to maximize the performance of that knife. 
So just a quick video, quick geek out on these steels. 440 series steels are not, they're not bad. It just depends on who's making it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.